Rockman. In the yard of his Kirkuk home, Muhammad Rauf Saleh fills the leafy space with folk tunes. They're called Khoriyat, an ancient form of song and poetry unique to Iraqi Turkmen. It's difficult to tell exactly when it began, but there's little doubt over where. Centuries ago, Koryak originated in Kirkuk. People in Azerbaijan and Turkey speak our language, but they don't sing our Koryak. It's a steadily eroding art, Saleh says, just like his community in the city that's claimed by several ethnic groups. Turkmen form the third largest ethnicity in Iraq. Their exact number is politically controversial, though they believe they make up to 10% of the population. Here in the central Kirkuk market, most of the merchants are Turkmen, traditional crafts that were brought by their ancestors dating as far as the 9th century are no longer here. They've been replaced by modern goods instead. But make no mistake, the sense of identity here is clear. The older generation who lived through years of Saddam Hussein's assimilation policy still cling to their traditional dress. And many here would tell you their heritage is an integral part of both Kirkuk's history and present-day life. Unlike the Kurds, the Turkmen have not asked for an autonomous state in modern Iraq, nor did they take up arms over territory. But their involvement in running the country falls short of what they desire. As long as key positions are being divided between the two ethnicities, Arabs and Kurds, we, the third main group, have a right too. It's a national entitlement. We should get a vice president post too. We feel there are always attempts to get round Turkmen national rights. In the fight over Kirkuk, the Turkmen have sided with the Arabs in not wanting the city to be folded in the semi-autonomous Kurdistan region. But in a recent political alliance, they were given a key post in the city's provincial government, controlled for years by Kurdish parties. For this Khoriat master, though, the battle for a say in the new Iraq is pointless. If not enough is done to stop their folklore, the cornerstone of their identity, from slowly fading away. Raul Raga Al Jazeera, Kirkuk.